Margaret and I run Musical Bumps classes in Kent, in Tunbridge and Sevenoaks and we've been enjoying our classes on Zoom for most of the last year and are looking forward to being back at venues before too much longer. Um, we've got lots of stories and songs now to fall back on on a rainy day and I'm adding a couple more this week while we're doing our Easter celebrations and lots of Easter songs. So this one is called Webster J Duck and it's a great favourite in my household. Webster is one of my names. Webster J Duck. Isn't he lovely? There are beautiful pictures in this story. Let's see what's going to happen to this duck. There was once a duck egg hidden away in the reeds by the bank of the lake. In the duck egg was wee Webster J Duck all folded up so he'd fit in the egg. Quite often ducks' eggs are blue. Webster stirred in the egg, had a little wriggle. He tapped the eggshell with his beak. Crack! The shell broke and out of the egg came wee Webster J Duck. I think he's landed on his head. I hope it did not hurt him. Webster J Duck stood on the bits of shell he had broken. Where's my mum? Webster thought. I must have a mum because all baby ducks do. He's having a good look to see if he can find his mummy. Webster went quack 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 calling his mum. But his mum didn't come so Webster J Duck set off to find her. Webster met a duck with a waggledy tail down by the side of the lake. Quack quack, asked Webster J Duck. Bow wow, went the duck with the waggledy tail. You're not my mum, Webster thought. My mum would go quack quack like me. Is this a duck? No, it's a dog. It's not a duck with a waggledy tail. Next, Webster met a big woolly duck. Is this a big woolly duck? <laughs> quack quack, asked Webster J Duck. Ba ba went the big woolly duck. You're not my mum. Webster thought, my mum would go quack quack like me. Is this a woolly duck? No, we know that it's a woolly sheep. Then Webster met a bigger big duck with big ears and an udder. Quack quack, asked Webster J Duck. Moo moo went the bigger big duck. You're not my mum, Webster thought. My mum would go quack quack like me. Is this a bigger duck? No. Oh dear. Webster J Duck sat down and cried by the edge of the lake. His little duck feathers were shiny with tiny duck tears. Quack, 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 sobbed Webster. Oh, I've just noticed, look, there's a ladybird. I think the ladybird might be trying to make him feel a bit better or even, you see the spider. Maybe the spider and the ladybird are trying to make Webster feel a bit better. And it's not just them. Bow wow, barked the dog. The duck with a waggledy tail? We know it's a dog. Ba ba said the sheep. The big woolly duck? No, we know it's a sheep. Moo, 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 mooed the cow. 
mooed the bigger big duck. This is not a duck. They were all trying to help by calling Webster's mummy. But the bow wows and the bars and the moos scared Webster J Duck. He hid his little duck head under his wing. Poor thing. And they were trying to help. He quivered and shivered and shook and he went quack, quack all alone. But then someone answered quack, quack. Just like Webster's quack, but quite a bit louder. Quack, quack. Who could it be? I don't think it's the sheep or the cow or the duck with the waggledy tail. Who is it? Quack, quack, quack. Mummy duck came through the reeds. Isn't she beautiful? Look at that. How do we think Webster J. Duck is feeling now? Very, very happy. And Webster swam off with his mum. Off they go. Well, that's a nice story. The happy ending. There's the very back. Isn't that lovely? So we need to think of some songs to go with that story. Hmm. Well, I do like singing All the Little Ducks Turn Upside Down, and I know some of you do as well. We'll do that one in just a moment. But first, we could have a think about which animals would we see if we went to the farm or if we went to look and see if we could find a duck. Hmm. We might see a dog or a sheep or a cow or a horse. We might see anything. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a duck along the way. What do you think I heard it say? Quack, quack, quack. That was a really small picture of Webster, wasn't it? You see him. What do you think I heard him say? Quack, quack, quack. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a dog along the way. What do you think I heard him say? Woof, 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 or bow, wow, wow. Or some dogs say, yip, yip, yip. They have a really high voice. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a sheep along the way. What do you think I heard it say? What did you hear it say? Ba, ba, ba. I went to visit a farm one day. I saw a cow along the way. What do you think I heard it say? Moo, moo, moo. And you can sing that song about any animal you like. You could think of as many different animals as you possibly could. Here are your ducks. Here are my ducks. Show me your ducks with your thumbs. It can be quite tricky. Put your thumbs up. You have to fold all your fingers up so you can just see your thumbs for your ducks. Quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. And then the ducks have to turn upside down to find their dinner at the bottom of the pond. Ooh, right down at the bottom. Then they can go nom, 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 nom. yummy, yummy in my tummy. Up they come. Whoop. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Can your ducks say that? Quack, quack. Quack, quack. And turn upside down for their dinner. Ooh. <sniffs> yummy, yummy in my tummy. Whoop. Now hold on tight to your ducks. I need to put this duck down so I can press go on the music so we can sing together. All the little ducks turn upside down. Off we go, all the little ducks turn upside down, upside down, upside down. All the little ducks turn upside down as they dabble at the bottom of the pond. Hands together for their tails. All the little tails grow wiggle, waggle, wiggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle. 
wiggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle. All the little tails go wiggle, waggle, wiggle as they travel up the bottom of the pond. And their beaks, what do they say? Quack, quack. All the little beaks go quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. All the little beaks go quack, quack, quack as they travel up the bottom of the pond. Now, turning upside down for the last time. All the little mugs turn upside down, upside down, upside down. All the little mugs turn upside down as they tumble up the bottom of the pond. Good. I do love singing that song and I'm sure you enjoyed it as well. It's time for me to go now, but I'm going to see you again soon for another story. Bye, everyone. Bye.